Yo, peace was good. Welcome to another hip hop album review. This is part 234. The album that I'm going to review tonight is uh, Big Daddy Kane with his second album titled It's a Big Daddy Thing, released in 1989. Um, for guys, for, for the guys you that don't know who Big Daddy Kane is, I did a review um, on his first album on Sunday night. Um, definitely check it out. I appreciate all the comments. Um, just a little FYI for some of the guys that come in here. Um, please, please, if you're going to comment on the video, please comment regarding the subject that I'm talking about on the video. So, um, I had to delete a couple of comments because they were worried talking about, you know, the album. Like, I, I get it that, you know, you guys want me to review certain albums. I, I'm grateful for that. But I feel like I want to review albums like these because you don't really get that. And, um, especially nowadays. And if you do it, it's because of me. I'm, not, I'm just going to say it like that. So, because I've been doing this since 2011. So, this is how to throw it out there. I don't usually like to tune my own horn, but that's just how to do that. But, um, but yeah, no love lost. You know, just how to, you know, do that. So, like, just, I don't mind you guys want me to review certain albums, but, you know, just talk about the album that I reviewed first and then put, okay, dope review, that kind of thing. Um, talk a little bit about what you like about the review, what you didn't like, and then talk about what album I would like to review. So, I'll, I'll get to those albums eventually. I'll just, take my time and stuff like that so but yeah enough of the rant so like i said before i did a review on his first album um on sunday and um like i said um difference with this album is, uh the, his production he does a, a big daddy king himself does a big chunk and then he had to hire some other producers because the first time molly mall did the production um there's two singles of the album the singles are um Yo, no, excuse me. Uh, I get the job done and um, smooth operator. Those are the singles of the album. All right, you guys know how I get down. I'm go, um, I'm gonna show you what the album looks like. Uh, as you see, you see a big daddy cane, some fly shorties, got a limo, the house. Like I'm assuming that's his crib and shit. You see in the back, nothing too crazy. I, I bought this years ago and I bought this to use. So, you know what I mean. So. I've always liked I've always liked this when it shows like um analog mixing or recording uh analog mix digitally mastered so that was pretty cool. I always I always like stuff like that. Then you got uh the C D what it looks like, nothing too crazy. I don't know what that is, but like I said I bought this used so just had to show that out there. And then um show the back of the booklet see big daddy kid i'm pretty sure you guys seen that uh picture before so he got it from i think he used that photo for his um greatest hits album that he dropped i believe in 98 or late early late 90s early 2000s if i'm not mistaken um yeah it shows like his, his the names um you know the the aliases and the, the um horoscope so that was pretty cool so you got big daddy kane you got uh, mr c then you got scrap lover and they got um school lover so yeah, his dancers, that kind of thing. And then you see Big Daddy Kane with some shorties, fly shorties. Fire, 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 man. Beautiful woman, man. Beautiful. All right. And then uh, got the track list and I kind of got the thank yous and I kind of think the features and the, the writing credits and all that good stuff. Um, so the producers on the album are uh, Big Daddy Kane. Prince Paul, you guys should know Prince Paul, very underrated producer. Uh, he's worked with, uh, he was part of Stessa Sonic at one point. Then he was an in house producer for Del I Saw at one point. And then, um, you know, um, Grave Diggers and among other stuff, like Handsome, Handsome, Handsome Boy Model. You know, he did a whole bunch of other stuff and some soul stuff he did in the 90s and early 2000s. Uh, Molly Mall, you guys should know who Molly Mall is. Uh, super producer easy mo be another super producer he's done a lot of stuff for other people i mean legendary producer in my opinion one of my favorites in my opinion um mr c and uh teddy riley you guys should know teddy riley mr new jack swing man <laughs> all right so now i get down i'm gonna go through some of the tracks all right 
You got track one, a self-titled track. It's a Big Daddy thing. Dope way to start the album. Really dope shit. Uh, that was produced by Prince Paul. Pretty dope track. Um, I like the line when he said, just like a bomb in Vietnam, so hit the alarm, or be funky like an underarm. Woo, love that. This is the way he said it, it's so dope. Love that. So that was track one, it's a Big Daddy thing. Track two, another victory. Yo, I have this off the record. My favorite track of the album, and my favorite Big Daddy King song ever, ever. Besides, ain't no half stepping, but that song, the way he flowed on that beat is just like phenomenal. That was also produced by Easy Mo B. Oh my fucking god, that song is dope. Love the line when he said, "They can't understand to see a black man driving a car that costs twenty five grand. The first thing they say is where you steal it, and they assume that I'm a drug dealer. Huh? That just make me want to laugh, cause no, I'm a start and." You I'm a star and your son got my autograph. So all the cops on the highway getting getting me. My name my uh, my name ain't Keith. So you can, can you please stop sweating me. Woo! Kill that shit, yo. I wish he had a video for that song. Like that would have been so dope, but unfortunately he didn't do that. So but yeah, I fucking love that song. But I did like the fact that he performed that song on the um versus versus Carol's one. So definitely check that out. Um, yeah, it's on YouTube. You can check that um, joint. So, let me turn that down. Hold on. Yeah. Alright. Recipe to DMX, by the way. Alright, so track three Mortal Kombat. Another dope track. That was produced by um, Big Daddy Kane. Really dope joint right there. Um, I like the line when he says, Every word will be like surgery, cutting you open to rush. Rush emergency or, or, bow, or bow to your knees and bend low or get get played like a game on Nintendo. Jokes, J-O-K-E-S ain't my style. I ain't your child. That's why I don't smile. Love that joint. Very dope shit right there. He killed that. So that's track three, uh, Mortal Kombat. Uh, track four, um, Children of the Future. That's another joint that was produced by Big Daddy Kane. Um, pretty dope track. Very introspective track. It's pretty much saying like how, um, you know, self-explanatory, like, you know, children in the future. So, um, pretty much watch what you do around children because they emulate what you do. So, if you're a good dude and, you know, you go to school, you go to work and you, you know, you do right by, you know, your family and then your friends and, you know, society, more than likely they're going to follow that. But if you you know you a drug dealer do you do bad shit and he, they're gonna follow you because you think that's the right thing to do they don't know no better so um and that's pretty much what he talks about in the song so i thought it was pretty cool um i like the line when he said um people people while we leave while we live illegal your life just ends short and you know there's no sequel they s <clears throat> they'll say that it was fun while it lasted you run wild, you run wild, sticking up and getting blasted. Pregnant girls living solo on the welfare, cause your cause your so-called man says, say go to hell there. Yeah, you know. So like, that's some real shit. You know what I mean? Cause like, people want to live the fast life, the easy life, but there's consequences to that. But you know, and they know that. But it's just like, they kind of have like no hope. So it's kind of like, fuck it, let me just do it. You know. So it's kind of sad, but you know. What can you do? But yeah, dope track right there. Track five, Young, Gifted, and Black. That was produced by Molly Maul. Fucking love this song. Um, shout out to Doggy Diamonds. I seen an interview that he did with Big Daddy Kane uh, a couple weeks ago before writing my notes on this album. Um, there's a video for Young, Gifted, and Black, which I'll post in the description box. Which I didn't know. Um, but yeah, very dope. Uh, that sample's been used before. A lot of people have sampled that. But um, Big Daddy Kane was the first to use it. Pretty dope. Love that joint. Um, did I write any notes? Let me see. Uh, yeah. The line, I like the line where he says, um, Smoking or choking. Born to be broken. Man, get your damn hands off the mic that I'm choking. Cause I get a strong, I, cause I got a stronghold. You're still cold on parole for the role you stole. Love that joint right there. So yeah, there's a video for that joint. Very dope. Is you know, it's kind of low budget. It's not the best, but you know, it, it gets it's to the point. It's like real gritty. It's like 
it, it's fit into the subject matter he's talking about. Like you see him, like it looks like an abandoned building. He's in a hoodie and he's just rapping with a leather jacket on uh, on top of the leather um, on top of the hoodie. I thought that was pretty cool. So um, yeah, I just had to throw that out there. So there is a video for Young Gifted and Black. So I thought it was pretty cool. Track six, uh, Smooth Operator. Um, I believe that was the first single of the album. That was produced by uh, Big Daddy Kane. Um, it's a cool track, man. But um, not my favorite song of the oh shit, not my favorite song of the album. But um, he does he does say some dope shit though. I like the line when he says um, attack you like a robot tussin on the cough. If you know if you know what I like, if you know what I like, I know step off competition. I'm gonna get rid of. Ooh. Kill that shit, kill that. But um, I, I like this song, but I'm, I'm a little burnt off this song because I've heard it so many times. So, um, so that was Smooth Operator, uh, track six, uh, track seven, Call Mr. Welfare, another dope joint. That was um produced by uh Easy Mo B, really dope shit. That features um DJ Red Alert. Um, yeah, you know, in this song, you know, it just talks about. I've always felt like this was like a sequel to Children of the Future. So it's kind of like, um, you know, he just talks about people living off, like, you know, living the, trying to live the fast life and that kind of thing. And, you know, living on Section 8, but trying to live a luxurious lifestyle at the same time. So kind of playing yourself. So calling Mr. Welfare. That's what I got from that track. You know what I mean? So pretty dope. Uh, track 8, Wrath of the Cain. Wrath of Cain, live. Um, so, in this song, pretty much is a live version of the song, uh, Wrath of Cain. Um, there is a 12-inch version that you have to get that's, like, the studio version. And I read an interview of why he did that, because he said that, you know, growing up, you know, he grew up, like, in the 70s. So, you know, he grew up in the time with the Temptations, Four Tops, and, you know, people like that, um, the Stylistics and stuff like that. And, you know, they would do, like, live albums. And he kind of wanted to emulate that, so which is why he put that on his album. You know, but but at the time, I'm pretty sure that people didn't understand it. Even myself, I'm like, why did you do that? But then reading that interview, um, I understood why he did that. So I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, but um, I'll post down in the description box in, for the original version with the studio version. Um, there was a line... That I like when he said, um, uh, let me see, what was the line? Oh, those who chose to oppose friends or foes, I still depose and blow them out like a, like afros. Very dope shit. So like I said, if you want to get the studio version, you have to get the 12 inch. It's, the, it's actually the B side um, to the I'll Take You There single. Um, I'll Take You There, which was on um, on the first album, uh, Long Live the Cane. It's the B side, as you know, Chuck D said, B side wins again. So it's the B side that so I'll take you there. So do that, do that out there. So that's Ralph of Kane, the live version, 12 inch version. You have to get the B, you have to get I'll take you there single, the B side to that. You'll get the studio version. So, yep. So uh, track nine, I get the job done. Uh, is the sec, it's the second and final single of the album. Um, not crazy about this song. I don't like this song at all. Um, I get it at the time, you know, New Jack Swing, I, and I love New Jack Swing, but, um, this wasn't for me, you know what I mean? But you can tell that Big Daddy Kane was trying to, like, you know, be more versatile. He's always been a versatile artist, but, like, and he's trying to always try to start new stuff, but, I don't know, it just, it just wasn't for me, man, so, didn't care for it, so, I didn't really write anything. Um, I could have done without it, honestly. Um, track 10, Ain't No Stopping Us. That was produced by um, Prince Paul. Um, uh, there was, it was an okay track. I didn't really, it didn't really do anything for me. I could have done without it, honestly. It's not a bad track, but um, yeah, it was it was, right. it was whatever. Um, track 11, Pimpin' Ain't Easy. Dope track. That's a posse cut. It features Nice and Smooth, School Lover, and Scrap Lover. And funny enough, um, he actually performed that song at the verses, and they all came out. So I thought that was pretty cool. So pretty dope track, very uh, dope uh, posse cut. Um, that's a track I don't really hear too many people talk about. I've noticed that, you know what I mean? So, but yeah, Pippin' Ain't Easy, pretty dope joint right there. 
track 13 to be a man um yeah it's yeah it's a, it's an okay track it features blue magic the um the r&b group from the 70s and chuck stanley um that was also produced by um that was also produced yeah that was produced by big daddy kane um yeah nothing too crazy uh, I, I didn't really care for it oh and i missed the uh, big daddy's theme track 12 um that's just an into this is an instrumental nothing too crazy um track 14 um the house that c built um again another track that i could have done without you know um a little bit too long in my opinion um you know it's just nothing too crazy it's like a hip house track you know because at the time you know hip house was the thing it's like one of those things like um it's like a compromise, like you had to do at that time. Like you had to put that. Like it doesn't matter who you were, you had to do that. Um, case in point, um, case in point with uh, you know, EPMD with um, you had too much to drink, um, on the unfinished business album. So you know, I wasn't too crazy about that song, but um, yeah, nothing to write home about. Um, about five and a half minutes, too damn long. You know, nothing too crazy about that. Um. On the Move, track 15, that was a pretty decent song. Um, it's an okay track, but um, I didn't like the beat. I didn't really care for the beat too much. Uh, track 16, uh, Warm It Up Kane, classic song. That was produced by Big Daddy Kane himself. That was pretty dope. Um, did I write any lines? Yeah, I did. Um, I like the line where he says, for, for, for I ain't bugging or delirious, my swift tongue's like a sword. That's how severe it is. And I can slice and dice and fish a price. Me that the door, he was nice into minute rice. Single handed, I ain't with that bonds, that band stuff. Cause C will scratch a record and flakes and flakes, <coughs> scratch a record like a flakes of dandruff. Killed that. He killed that shit right there. Um, Pretty dope track. And then track 17. Um, rap summary, Lean On Me, the remix. Um, the OG version is actually on, is on the Lean On Me soundtrack. And this is like the remix version produced by Molly Mo. Dope track. Um, yeah, dope track. Both, both versions are dope. But, um, I, I think I kind of like this version better. You know what I mean? I gotta revisit the Lean On Me version, but I remember liking this one a lot too. Um, Oh, also too, track eight, Wrath of Kane, and the rap summary track um is not on the vinyl version. Just to show you guys, just to let you guys know about that. Um, it's only on the CD version and then a cassette version, but um it's not on the vinyl version. So um yeah, overall thoughts on this album, very dope album, uh dope follow up from the first album, um. Couple of filler tracks I could have done without, but it's not a they're not horrible, but they're not like oh my god. Um a nice follow up, nice versatility, you know, compared to the first album. Um a lot of people compared um a lot of people would consider this to be like his breakthrough album. And I, I definitely agree. Kinda it, it's kinda reminiscent of Nas, where you know excuse me, you know, Long Live the King was illmatic. And this song would be considered like um it was written. That's 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 my comparison. That's why I would compare it to. Um but yeah, man, very dope album. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, a couple of duds here and there, but nothing too crazy to write home about. But it doesn't make the album whack or anything by all means. Very dope album. I know a lot of people can um this is a lot of people's favorite albums. Um I'm not mad at that. Uh, some people say the first album is, the, is his best album. I'm not mad at that either. Um, either way, dope album. I enjoyed it. I'm glad I own it. Um, again, with Cold Chillin releases, this album is out of print. Um, it's not expensive, but it's not cheap. Um, but compared to Long Live the King, you can find this for a decent price. I've seen it go for like, you know... You know, five dollars and up, six dollars, you know, then that kind of thing, ten dollars. You know, it just depends on where you look and stuff like that. You just gotta dig deep. So, but yeah, man, um, dope album. Let me know what you guys think of this review. Definitely stay tuned for more. Y'all be easy. Peace.